Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am really excited to share this with you because in this video I'm making my first cyberpunk neon theme photo manipulation. I've always wanted to learn from the beginning of my photoshop journey. And yes I know it is a basic concept but the colors are just perfect, perfect, perfect. So having this said, here you can see all the images I use for the buildings that I have in the background. I've selected them kind of randomly but I kept in mind one aspect, all of them must have blue and pink toes just to make my job easier later on. Now let's see the actual speed up where you can also hear me explaining stuff. As usual it all comes down to masking characters, trees, houses and everything you can think of. In this case buildings, I love using pencil for this just because I can go as detailed as I want to. Fast forward, after finding the right place, it was time to work on the light that comes from the bottom of the building. So with a solid dark blue, I painted the background. Closer to the foreground, I painted with a light blue that already gives that neon shining effect. Overall, I repeat the same steps over and over, had to make sure that I have the right shadows and the depth of field. And again with a solid color, but this time pink, I painted the light that comes up in the middle of the image. Basically this photo manipulation was mainly focused on the solid color adjustment layer. Also when I amplified the lighting effect, I just simply duplicated the one already existing and again used the brush to paint. The block to which Spider-Man will be standing had to be in tone with everything else. For shadows I used an exposure adjustment layer along with the color balance to match the overall neon theme. I got this Spider-Man image from DeviantArt. He has the perfect pose for my composition, being also the classic pose for this character. I mask him out and put him in place, then I had to adjust the colors again with the color balance adjustment layer. And guess what? Exposure layer for shadows. As I did in my other videos, hue and saturation is perfect for highlights.
and here you have the final result. I gotta be honest, this edit took me less than 2 hours to complete and I'm really satisfied with the result considering the time and assets used. It has a strong visual effect focusing both on Spidey and buildings. And yeah, that's it. If you like this make sure to click that subscribe button and I hope I see you in my next video.